you won't believe this. Three countries led by China are about to lay sanctions on the US that is heavily going to affect the US economy. There is a very big conflict happening between Israel and Palestine, and the US has the power to stop this conflict. But have you ever wondered why they are hesitant to end this conflict? Many countries, especially Russia, China, and Iran, have expressed how they are displeased with this war, given the fact that the US hasn't done anything to stop this conflict, but rather takes sides with Israel. This has made China, Iran, Russia, and other big nations take very drastic decisions with regard to oil trade, which will affect the US negatively, especially as winter approaches. The main reason for this drastic decision is that the US should reconsider its choices and try to be a peacemaker in the war rather than fueling conflicts. But the question remains, will the US bend to this demand and change its decisions towards this conflict? We are going to find out in detail how the other big oil nations have come together to stand against the US and we are going to see exactly how the US responds to these decisions. Watch this video to the very end to find out the USA's biggest plan. Let's get started. Remaining steadfast in their commitment to oil cuts, Saudi Arabia and Russia aim to alleviate tensions in the Middle East. The two countries have decided to adhere to their oil cut plan due to multiple interconnected objectives, with a primary focus on economic considerations, geopolitical dynamics, and global oil market stability. Both Saudi Arabia and Russia are keen on maintaining stable and higher oil prices to support their respective economies. Saudi Arabia, which faces a significant budget deficit, heavily relies on oil revenue to fund its ambitious projects and cover its expenses. Similarly, Russia also benefits from higher oil prices as it contributes to increased oil and gas revenue, which could lead to a budget increase. To bridge its budget deficit, Saudi Arabia needs higher oil prices, which economists suggest should be around $1.91 to avoid a shortfall in the second half of the year. Russia, on the other hand, is experiencing a shrinking budget deficit due to a surge in oil and gas revenue and is keen to maintain this positive economic trend. Both nations' decision to comply with oil cuts demonstrates their commitment to cooperation among major oil producers, particularly within the OPEC framework, in order to stabilize the global oil market and prevent excessive supply that could lead to a price collapse. By working together to manage production levels, Saudi Arabia and Russia aim to ensure that the market remains balanced between demand and supply. The decision to limit oil production is not solely based on economic factors, but also political ones. Russia may be using this strategy to maintain high inflation rates in Western countries, which could be a means to influence global economic dynamics. This could be particularly effective in exploiting economic vulnerabilities in Western nations. Regional tensions in the Middle East have been on the rise lately, but Saudi Arabia and Russia both have an interest in avoiding further escalation. By agreeing to decrease oil production levels, they convey their dedication to maintaining regional stability. This is important, as oil prices often fluctuate due to geopolitical tensions. Consistently adhering to the agreed-upon oil cuts is a way to demonstrate their commitment to market stability, which helps instill confidence in investors, businesses, and consumers. By preventing volatility in oil prices, consistent adherence to production agreements can contribute to overall economic predictability. In light of the current global economic climate, it has been mutually agreed upon by both Russia and Iran to maintain oil production cuts of 1.3 million barrels per day until the end of this year. This decision has been made with the objective of preventing the overproduction of oil, which could result in a surplus in the market and lead to a negative impact on the economies of major oil-producing nations. Despite the challenges presented by the global economic slowdown and escalating conflicts in the region, both countries remain committed to their pledge. The announcement has already resulted in an immediate 2% increase in oil prices. However, it is expected that this decision may pose certain challenges to Western nations, especially the USA. It is worth considering the rationale behind Russia and Iran's decision to maintain this commitment and its potential implications. If you are still watching this video, it means you like this type of content. Why not take out a second and hit that like button? The world's oil market is experiencing a significant surge in prices due to the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine. 
This issue is not limited to the region and is causing concerns about potential challenges involving Iran, which is a major oil producer and a supporter of Hamas. With tensions continuing to escalate, attention is being directed toward Russia and Iran, creating a complex situation with far-reaching implications. This development has a profound impact that stretches beyond the country's direct involvement and affects not just the United States, but also the entire Western world. Given the country's significant role in the oil industry, any complications with Iran and Russia could have far-reaching consequences. The challenges associated with Iran and Russia's involvement could destabilize oil prices and have geopolitical implications for the United States, warranting additional consideration. The US's approach to Iran and Russia amidst the conflict could have huge implications for global oil dynamics. The examination of Iran and Russia's involvement in the Palestine-Israel conflict by Washington's leaders is being observed with caution due to the possibility of increased sanctions by oil producers against the US. This could potentially cause concerns among the OPEC alliance, a group of countries that work together on oil matters, and may also heighten the risks for key energy facilities and shipping in the region. The US's support of Israel's war could result in unwanted consequences when tensions arise with the OPEC group, potentially affecting worldwide oil prices. Additionally, putting more pressure on Palestine could increase the risk of disruption to energy facilities and shipping routes in the Middle East, which are vital for the global energy supply. These facilities and routes serve as essential lifelines for the worldwide energy supply and any tension or disruption in these areas could potentially impact the smooth flow of energy between countries, affecting the entire globe. The current situation in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict has a significant impact on the world's oil markets, and this is why they are closely monitoring the events taking place there. The collaboration between the Middle East and the West, which are both major players in the global oil market, adds to the complexity of the situation with one being the producer and the other the consumer. Saudi Arabia's involvement is also critical, particularly given the uncertainties in global politics. Russia and Saudi Arabia are cooperating to manage the impact of the conflict on oil prices. They have agreed to continue reducing their oil production until the end of the year, which will remove a significant 1.3 million barrels of crude oil from the global market. This joint effort is aimed at stabilizing the market during uncertain times. However, this action may be perceived as a united front against the Western world. The countries that support Palestine will have a greater influence on oil stability, while the West may face challenges. Iran and Russia are causing a lot of concern with their actions, especially when it comes to oil prices and the Israel-Hamas conflict. Here's the deal. Some people think these countries are playing games with the oil prices to benefit themselves, the US government is keeping some info a secret, and that's got people wondering what's really going on. Now picture this. If Americans knew the whole story, there might be a huge outcry, and a lot of US citizens would want to rethink their support for Israel. But here's where it gets tricky. The US is stuck between a rock and a hard place. On one hand, they're trying to keep oil prices stable worldwide. But on the other hand, they don't want to mess up their political reputation, even if it means taking an economic hit. Unfortunately, instead of finding a better solution, the US has made things worse in the Israel-Hamas conflict. In recent times, a significant action was taken by the United States. They implemented a law to increase the difficulty for Iran in selling its oil. This decision carries immense weight, as it has the potential to create turbulence in the global oil markets, introducing a higher level of uncertainty. To simplify, the US has imposed stricter regulations on Iran's oil, making it more challenging for Iran to sell its oil to other nations. This development could have consequences on the availability and pricing of oil worldwide. Due to the stricter rules imposed by the United States, Iran has decided to increase the cost of its oil, which poses challenges for the US. This is how it happens. Iran, in response to the stricter rules, has raised the prices of its oil. This creates an issue for the US, since it may struggle to acquire a consistent supply of oil. The decision to make it harder for Iran to sell its oil has caused a reaction, resulting in the US finding it more difficult to purchase the oil that meets its requirements. Following the implementation of stricter sanctions on Iranian oil by the United States, 
China has emerged as a significant player, providing a favorable position for Iran. As one of the major purchasers of Iranian oil, China has been in the main buyer of Iran's oil since the US made it more difficult for them to sell their oil globally. China is now becoming a potential buyer for Iranian oil. The global oil market is not just about transactions. It involves the strategic interplay of nations. The US, Iran and China are all key actors, and China's interest in Iranian oil has altered the dynamics among these actors, and this makes the US very, very scared. The impact of this shift goes beyond just economic transactions as it affects the intricate relationships between many other countries in the world. China's decision doesn't only affect the oil market, it makes the relationship between the US and China even more complex. With economic ties and political differences already existing, the involvement of both countries in the oil trade transforms it into a political move, where every action holds diplomatic significance. The question now is whether the US will find a way to confront this oil crisis. The US has decided to lift the restrictions on Venezuela in a bid to increase oil production worldwide and not solely in the Middle East. By lifting restrictions on Venezuela, the US aims to reduce its dependence on the Middle East and have more oil production options. However, ramping up oil production in Venezuela is not a simple task as it takes time and there is no certainty that the process will go smoothly due to the challenges involved. Even though the US wants Venezuela to produce more oil, success is not guaranteed and significant obstacles need to be overcome. China, being a large country that heavily relies on oil, sources a substantial amount of it from the Middle East. However, China has made a significant move by resuming its oil imports from Venezuela, which can be seen as a challenge to the US this has now created further complications for the US, who thought they'd found an alternative to the Middle East. The question remains, why are China and the Middle East hindering the US's attempts to bring peace to the region? Obstacles have been encountered in the attempts to bring about a ceasefire in the Middle East. The United States' rejection of multiple UN resolutions has escalated tensions and intensified the focus of the conflict, which lies in the Israel-Hamas war. The US has shown reluctance to bring an end to this war, which has not only raised eyebrows, but also garnered disapproval from influential nations, including China, Russia, Iran, and Saudi Arabia. The refusal of the US to support UN resolutions, aimed at securing a ceasefire in the Middle East, has been a major point of argument. Repeated attempts to broker peace have been made in the Israel-Hamas conflict, which is characterized by long-standing enmities. However, the US has consistently opposed these efforts, leading to dissatisfaction among other nations, particularly those in the Arab world, who advocate for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. The entire world is increasingly worried about the consequences of extended conflicts in the Middle East, fearing that these ongoing hostilities may trigger more significant events and potentially lead to widespread chaos. The refusal of the US to support peace initiatives aggravates these concerns as it sends a message that the nation is not committed to maintaining world peace. The Middle East conflict has drawn criticism from China, Russia, Iran, and Saudi Arabia, as well as other nations. These influential countries recognize the complexities of the region, but believe that the US's failure to support peace initiatives is harmful to global stability. Despite calls for peace from Arab nations, the US remains hesitant to provide aid, causing doubt about its dedication to promoting world peace. There is an increasing tendency to exert diplomatic pressure and create obstacles for the United States in response to its obstruction of peace initiatives. This is viewed as a way to send a firm message and educate the US about the repercussions of impeding global peace endeavors. While the diplomatic strategies may differ, the ultimate objective is to persuade the US to reconsider its stance and actively endorse measures aimed at ending every conflict in the Middle East. Some individuals hold the view that the current oil crisis can be utilized as a potent tool to sway the decision-making of the United States on the global stage. Given the vital role oil plays in the world economy, any disruptions in its supply can have significant repercussions. Countries such as Russia and China, being aware of the US's reliance on oil, may exploit this vulnerability to exert pressure on the US to reconsider its stance on conflicts, particularly the Israel-Hamas situation. Critics argue that the US has a track record of prioritizing military actions over seeking peaceful resolutions to conflicts. The ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict serves as a prime illustration of this. 
as some perceive the US as not actively striving for a resolution to end the hostilities. This perception has generated global concerns regarding the US's commitment to fostering peace, thereby eliciting calls for a reassessment of its approach to foreign policy. China, Russia, and Iran are responding to what they perceive as a lack of commitment to peace by the US and are taking actions to pressure the US to address the Israel-Hamas conflict. These countries, aware of their global influence, are using diplomatic measures to compel the US to play a more active role in resolving the conflict. The goal is to use this diplomatic pressure to encourage the US to engage more constructively in efforts to establish peace. What do you think about these countries trying to jointly sanction the US? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe.